hello lolas welcome 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 back to my channel so i'm gonna do this quick video for you guys because i've talked about my the previous video was about my claire teller baby and so now i'm gonna talk about my silicone studio babies um so all right so these two babies are from silicone studio there are two um artists that have partnered together and they work together but they have two different sculpts sometime i guess they collab or whatever um but so this one is sculpted by jennifer sussman price and this one is by kathy romero biscotti so but they're and there's two different websites there's a silicone studio.com and then there's a silicone studio two the number two dot com and so what I want to say about these babies is I talked about, you know, sometime buying the higher priced babies and how it is, um, you know, can be worth it and so on and so forth. A lot of times people be like, oh, you get what you pay for. And so um, they look at that in a bad sense. Right. But. If you look at it from a different angle, sometimes getting what you pay for is good because sometimes you don't get what you paid for, right? Like you paid more, but you get less. Um, I, me personally, this is just my new way of collecting. I really look for ways that I can pay less and get more, but not to the point where like I'm going to beat somebody down off on price or whatever. But if I find a good product that prices is good, then I'm all for it. You know what I mean? That's my new way of collecting for the most part. However, 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 these babies can be just as expensive, somewhat um, completed as the, the expensive ones. It just depends on the artist, um, the level of detail, da 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 da. Um, I personally don't have a set price. Some artists have a set price. Like they'll be like, oh, all my kids cost, all my babies completed cost from, you know, this, this, this. I may say my ranges start from 3000 to 6000 But if I get a baby and I'm not 1000% in love with it, rather it be the sculpt or my painting, I'm going to price it lower. Typically a full-size baby that's a newborn size baby. I'm not going to charge less than, you know, $4,000 for it completed. Um, usually it's around 4,500 to over 5,000. I have not charged $6,000 for not one doll yet. Just FYI. Um, The highest price I've charged is $5,600, and that sounds about fair for my work, in my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion. Okay. Um, but I wanted to say that for me, I shop a lot with, when it comes to silicone, with uh, pores that I'm familiar with. Um, I'm very particular about the quality of the pour, the softness, and it has to have some type of realism to it or I just cannot. Because <laughs> like, I have to be motivated and, and feel something towards it to want to paint it. Sometimes, every now and then I get one and it's like, when I see it in person, it's not as cute as I thought it was going to be from the camera. But then sometimes, every now and then I get this thing where it's like I want to challenge myself to see if I can you know make this baby be something um magical oh I see what's going on I'm trying to I was trying to move this light so that because it's given like a glare on her forehead as if she has a, like she's shy but there's no sheen on her but anyway let me let me see maybe if i zoom in hope but this is this is my little nori um it is casting a shadow there on her tummy 
and that is my Gigi. So again, like I said, it really depends on the, the end result. A lot of times, um, so, you know, one, one may say that the sculpting may not be as advanced as, you know, some of the others or whatever. I tip, I actually like the sculpting of these babies. Um, I actually, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, I like little preemies and for me, I think a lot of people make preemies be like just pretty newborn newborns instead of what preemies really look like. Preemies are not really like, they're not fully developed when they, you know, their features are not all the way in sometime and you know, they're usually pretty petite. So I love that about Nori. And I actually really love her armatures a lot. They they move very easy. Um, to me, they're they're good quality. I've never felt like they were going to poke out or anything like that. And I actually move her quite frequently. Um, I know that the, the both of the sculptors say they do a lot of playing around with the the wiring to make sure it's you know not gonna break or pop or whatever before they use whatever wiring that they use. But that's their process. Me, as a painter, I try not to worry too much and get too involved on the technical side of things. Cause that's not what I wanna do. I just wanna paint. That's another reason why I don't, I'm not really big on opening the mouths of sculpts and all that stuff. Cause that's not what I, that's not what I do. I would just wanna paint. So, but, so I always look for like the kids, like, you know the mouth is already open or stuff like that um a lot of times if i do a prototype for them they will open the mouth for me because it's you know i'm doing the prototype so that works out for me um but yeah um i i just i don't love these ba babies any less than i do my high high dollar babies and that's just me being honest like in fact i'm actually more bonded with um nori than i am like pretty much all of the babies um Gigi is probably my next in line I'm trying to think yeah i think it's nori and Gigi and Ducky. Ducky's still new, so I'm kind of that's why I'm kind of reluctant to be like Ducky, Ducky, Ducky. Because Ducky is very special to me right now. But you know, let's see how Ducky stands up when I get a full body, the full body version of her. If I be like, okay, I can sell Ducky. You know what I mean? Um, if a couple babies come in after Ducky and I still feel so strongly about her then that's when I'm like, okay. Um, Nori, I don't care what babies came in. It's like Nori is never an option. I've never, I never really consider it. Gigi, I've tried to sell her. I've said I was going to sell her like a million times. But when it gets to the end of things, I don't ever really sell her. And it's not about her not being fully rooted yet because as you can see, I've sold a couple babies before they were actually fully rooted. So I just have an attachment to them so i'm not like like i said i i think comparing we're comparing apples to oranges to certain extents with certain um things when we go to looking at you know master sculptors to sculptors that are like uh starting from beginner to intermediate like that but I can tell you like the quality of the silicone and stuff is very comparable like and so I'm really really like I'm, re I'm really content 
with with uh, the both. So if you're a person that paints for yourself, this is where it really become a bonus when you paint for yourself or if you have you have artists that's out there that's, that doesn't charge as much. Um, and let's say like a lot of artists, they do customs and if you send them the kit and they have a set fee, of course you're saving money because you're sending them the kit and their set fee is going to come down lesser if the kit is a lesser price. Um, I don't do custom, so it's no benefit to nobody to rather what kit I do or don't do. Um, but as a collector and just being a human being sometime, I try to consider that a little bit sometime in pricing and try not to be too over the top with pricing. Um, but again, for me, it's the overall baby at the end is, is what the end, end ending look like for me is where I set my prices. But I'm just putting it out here on both ends. So because there's different levels to collecting, there's different people that collect different things and like different things. Um, I will never forget the conversation I had with a collector friend that was um, searching for a full body baby and we were talking about a particular scope and I was like well it's not really that proportion and this that and the third or it's not as soft or you know this that it was just like a lot of little things that I was given the, the cons to and she said to me she said I had a baby that spent most of their time in the hospital and you know, they would be swole or this or that. And this is a trigger, sorry for some people. And the way that hit me, I'm a very emotional person. I know people like to think I'm some cold hearted beast, but I'm not. The way that that hit me in a way that I was just like, it, it, it even kind of affected the way I think about my commentary sometimes. You know, I still joke and say stuff here and there because it, it's just my character. But overall, it made me think like, some of these people are collecting these babies because this is actually how their baby looked. It may not be normal for us, but some people had babies that was not necessarily what we consider normal. And so it it made me really realize that in the big scheme of things, what I feel like is not worth X, Y, Z doesn't mean anything to the next person because you don't know their life experiences or, you know, what, what inspires them to fall in love with a kid or whatever. You don't know their story. And some people just love this, this these babies because we just love art. And some of us like odd things. And for me, like sometimes, like for me with Gigi, I just love her little mouth and look like she's like got she's gonna be like talking with a lisp when she grow up. Like it's little things. Nori, I just fell in love with her little cute little face. I just thought she was just she had the cutest little face, and I just I just love the armatures and the posing and all that and stuff. So for me, I may fall in love with the baby nose, the baby mouth, the baby hands, the baby feet. It could be the simplest thing. So, um, I've been like slow to kind of be like, oh, I wouldn't pay that for this. You know, I say it in private maybe still, but publicly, I ain't really into doing videos like that too much because I don't want to offend someone that's that's thinking more on a deeper level. You know what I mean? And then I know it's kind of contradicting some of my future conversations as far as like we're, we cannot control how somebody else feel. We're not responsible for how somebody take the way we feel and what we say. Um, but, I mean, come on. It's called humanity. But anyway, nevertheless, um, and trust me, I'm not judging the ones that do still give good commentary because I still will laugh, you know what I mean? 
but it's just not something that I do as often because of stories like that that I've heard in private that I'm just like oh wow and then like even with me like for me like the micro preemies I'm like oh no 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 they're too little really wasn't into them but then when I had my first grandbabies were micro preemies born at like 29 barely 29 weeks two pounds little like 12 inch babies um it really made my love for the preemies be that much stronger so um and you know i'm not a i collect mainly because i love real the realism and the, the the dolls and i love the art but i really started out because i really love dolls and you know my childhood i wanted more realistic looking dolls so it's always the core has always been getting a real looking doll but it became more about the art and then the sculpting and this and that but i love dolls so there's that um anyway this is a long video just wanted to pop in like i said and just wanted to say like be proud of what you have in your collection um that's my end note don't worry if you didn't pay you know, $15,000 or 8000 or 9000 or even if you ain't paid 5000 or 4000 3000 2000 if you got an $800 painted silicone baby and you love it, be proud with your baby. That's that. There's going to be people that's going to enjoy your, your uh, collection with you and be happy for you genuinely, you know, because sometimes it's all about the way you love your baby. It kind of radiates. The energy comes off and it just makes other people excited to see somebody so happy about their baby. Might not be something that can come live with me, but I'm going to be happy for you. And I'm going to be like, oh, look at Nisi Poo. You know what I mean? Regardless. Regardless. Because I love people being happy. That's why I'm so goofy. I love to make people laugh. I could be crying, sad, depressed, and two seconds away from jumping off a bridge, but... Before I jump, I'm going to make somebody laugh. Trust me, I'm not jumping anywhere. I'm just saying. And I advise anybody that feel that way to get some help. Okay? Call somebody. Talk to somebody. Tell somebody. Um, that's, you know, okay. Sometimes, see, that's why I'm saying sometimes you just go too far. Sometimes you just go too far. Why you go so far? Okay, guys, be great. <laughs> and safe. Stay away from breaches, please. Oh God, did it again. Oh God. Bye.